everyone, it's Madeline, and today's video is all about where to stay if you're visiting Arches National Park and Canyonlands National Park located in Moab, Utah. If you've been to Moab or are planning a trip soon, be sure to give this video a like and leave a comment below letting us know where you stayed on your trip. If you stick around until the end of the video, we're going to discuss where we stayed while visiting Moab, Utah. Moab is a great place to stay if you want to knock out two national parks at once. And there are a lot of different options on how and where to stay in this area, which isn't always the case when it comes to national park towns. Moab is located 36 minutes from Canyonlands National Park and 9 minutes from Arches National Park. The first option on the list of where to stay is camping inside the park. There are two campgrounds located in Canyonlands National Park and one campground located in Arches. Now, there are no electrical hookups in these parks, no showers, and limited cell service, so they might be better suited for RV camping or serious primitive campers. Also, these campgrounds fill up quickly, so always book in advance. Next on the list is camping outside of the parks. There are numerous privately owned campgrounds that have full hookups and amenities located outside of the park in Moab including KOA Campground as well as Slick Rock Campground. Many of these campgrounds have not only RV hookups and tent sites, but they also offer cabins as well. Third on the list is hotels. There are plenty of hotels located in Moab. They have all the basic chains from Best Western to Holiday Inn. There's a new Hyatt Place, Spring Hill Suites, and Wingate that all have great pools, which is important in the hot desert climate. More scenic hotel options include the Sorrel River Ranch Resort and Spa or the Moab Springs Ranch. And the Hoodoo Moab is also a nice higher end option. Our final option on the list is glamping. Glamour camping has certainly become a more popular way to stay. And there are a few different options of glamp grounds in the areas around the park including Moab Under Canvas or Glamping Canyonlands. As I mentioned earlier in the video, we were going to discuss our trip to Moab. So where did we stay? Well, we actually stayed at the Wingate by Wyndham in Moab, and it worked out really well for us for a number of reasons. One, it was a newer hotel, so the rooms are pretty nice. They provided breakfast in the morning, so that's always a bonus because that, you know, saves you some money. They also had a very nice pool, which we took some breaks during our park stays because uh, it was a little hot out there. So it was nice to be able to sit by the pool for a little while, too. Yeah, the pool was nice. It was a huge pool. And I think it was about 115 degrees when we were. Um, I think it really was. I don't know. Like I thought like 100. It was over 100. It was definitely 110. Um, <laughs> but it's a dry heat. It gets hotter every time we talk about it. But having a pool in Moab, I think, is oh, it's probably required. Um, but um, that's one of the advantages of these hotels is having that pool so that maybe you can take a midday break. And the way that the parks are set up, you can actually get to Canyonlands in the morning, do a hike, go back into Moab, and then spend some time in the afternoon maybe at the pool, uh, take a nap, and then go back to the parks in the evening and, and watch some beautiful sunsets. Yeah, it's really not far from the parks. It's really very easy to go back and forth. And um, we, we did that both days. It was great. And going, going back to the parks at sunset is very nice. Yeah, and I think that you can get to, from the north side of town to the south side of town. And where we stayed was actually on the south side. I think it's about 15 minutes. It's really kind of a one-strip town. There's a couple offshoots with some streets. But um, if you stay on that north side of town, you're going to get to those parks a little bit quicker. Where would we stay next time we go back? For me, I'm split between two options. One being these uh, hotels on the north side of town that have these water parks. That just <laughs> looks really fun to me. Um, I don't know if you always get that environment right outside a national park, so... To kind of get the... Uh, sort of the resort pool yeah. situation was yeah. pretty interesting at some of those hotels. And there's some higher-end hotels than the one we stayed at, and so those could be a nice option, too. You're in the desert, beautiful scenery, and uh, you know we always enjoy luxury hotels. So 
that's one option. The other option, I think, would be um, checking out a glamp ground. I would love to try this. We've never tried it before, and the ones outside of Arches and Canyonlands really do look very nice and very luxurious. And maybe one thing we didn't do, uh, which we have done in Utah before, but not when we were here, was taking that night sky. And I think camp, you know, if you go to a glamp ground, um, you can really enjoy those stars. In the description below, we're going to put a few links to different glamp ground options in the area because um, I think that would be such a great option and this would be the perfect place to try that out. If you like this video and you want to see more from our adventures in Arches and Canyonlands, we have vlogs up on our channel now.